Praise God. Glory to Dios. This is Evangelist Michael Fernandez. If you want to be a part of our ministry in the ventures, the things we're doing, great things for God to bring the good news. If you want to be part of this ministry, go to my website and talk to in the name of Christ. Dios le bendiga. This is Evangelist Michael Fernandez. If you have any sickness or problems, we welcome you to Shea Community Center every first Friday of each month at 7 o'clock. And we, we're going to lay hands on you. God will heal you. And if you have problems or infirmities, estamos visitando at Shea Community Center el primer viernes de cada mes a las 7. Vamos a estar predicando la palabra. Orando por enfermos. Todos están invitados. Estamos esperando. En Dios le bendiga. Praise the Lord. This is Evangelist Michael Fernandez. This is the day that the Lord has made. And right now, before we continue, we, before we go on with our guests, I want us to pray for the peace of Israel and Jerusalem. Father, right now, you. you know the crisis they're going through, Father. Yes. The time is near for you to come to save the world from these crises, Father. But right now I pray for the peace of Israel and Jerusalem. Protect them, God. Protect your children, Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you surround them with love and with a shield of favor around them. Father, we thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. amen. I believe God's word does not come back void and answer with power. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Today, we have an awesome guest, Dr. Pat's back with us again, and she's also had written a new book, awesome, awesome book. I have been reading, and it's called Prayer time gets answered, that prayer to get answered. Praise God. I recommend y'all to order this book. Praise be to God. It's awesome. Good topics. Praise God. Dr. Pat, God bless you. Amen. From, God hallelujah. Bless you. It's hallelujah. my hallelujah. pleasure to be here. <laughs> Praise God. It's been a while, hasn't it? It has. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I've been reading your book. Oh, mm -hmm. they got some good topics there and uh, how to decree the word of God over your situation. Amen. Talk to us about your ministry. Take your time and share with us. Well, um, my ministry is uh, our ministry is a prayer ministry uh, where we Pray on the prayer line. We have what is called a lunch date with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Every weekday from 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. We're on the prayer line. People calling from all over the world and uh, participate in that prayer. Praise we also Lord. have a Saturday service called the Sabbath with Jesus from 10 to 11.30 on Saturdays, except the last Friday of the month, the Saturday after that because we do meet the last Friday of the month. And so the Saturday, the next day, we don't meet. But three Saturdays in a month we meet and one Friday, the last Friday. And uh, we just, it's a prayer meeting. And we come together, we uh, pray for the people. Uh, demons are cast out. You've been to a couple of those yes, services yes. where people get delivered and uh, we speak blessings over the people. Because prayer is just what we believe that the body of Christ needs for us to be victorious. Yes. To be able to carry out what God has planned for us, we need to pray. Mm -hmm. Amen. Tell us uh, some of the testimonies that you hear about the prayers that you've been praying for the people. Amen. Oh, we get all kinds of testimony. One of the testimonies that really blessed me, a lady called us, uh, called me from New York. This was sometime last year, and she said to me, Who are you? I'm going, My name is Pat. She said, no, 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 no. Who are you? You are the one. You are the one. And I'm going, what? She said she was in the mental institution. She was selling diamonds and uh, got st really stressed. And her family committed her to mental institution. And she felt better, but they still wouldn't take her out because, you know, people were profiting from her being in the mental institution. So she said in the middle of the night one day, she heard this voice, which was my voice. And I came in her room and was telling her, I've been praying for you. Get up now and go home. She said the next morning she got up, she went home. So her friend that is a part of our prayer line told her to call. And when she heard my voice, she said, that's the voice. You're the one. What happens when we pray, God takes our prayer to the different parts of the world and uses it to carry out his plan to stop the work of the devil and so prayer is so powerful you could pray here and that prayer will go to 
somewhere in Hong Kong, in Japan. We're like, we just prayed for Israel. It goes to that situation. So we must take prayer very serious. God takes prayer very serious. Amen. That's the reason he collects it in a bowl Amen. and preserves it in heaven because prayer is important. So that's one of the things we do. We were praying on the prayer line. Somebody's eyes got opened. So, so many miracles happen. Even in the ground, people get delivered to where they're manifesting. You know, and uh, and God has just really been working mightily with power because the same God who was in the days of Elijah is the same God we're serving. Amen. Mm. Praise God. I've been reading your book and the topic on the prayer about limitation. Mm. Tell us something about the book and what um, you started writing this book here. Prayer that gets answered. Praise be to God. I recommend you. You're listening. Order this book. You could call Dr. Pat mm -hmm. and uh, tell them how can they get a hold of you, Dr. Pat? Well, they can go to our website and get it, www.drpata.com. You can go to Amazon.com and get it, uh, Bunts on Nobles. You can get it from Kendo. You can go to Lakewood Bookstore. Many places carry it, so you can get it uh, anywhere, um, you know, just... Other for it. Any bookstore, they would uh, they would uh, get it for you. Amen. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell us about the topic here on limitations. Limitation. Limitation is one of the things that the enemy wants to use to stop us from fulfilling our assignment, uh -huh. our purpose, and our destiny. So the enemy always comes in with hindrances. It could use sometimes it will use people. Sometimes it will use health issues because when you're dealing with limitation, the enemy throws things at you to distract you from moving to possess your possession. So for those limitations, we I have specific prayers in the book that you can pray, scriptures you can use, you could decree, he that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If God be for me, who could be against me? The Bible tells us those who trust in the Lord will be like Mount Zion <laughs> that cannot be moved and they will abound when you trust in the Lord. So I use prayer, there are prayer points, there are scriptures in this book, the scriptures that is relevant to the things you're dealing with and prayer points on how to pray. This book is really helps you to pray strategic prayer that gets results. I was reading one of your points. It says, prayer points, open your mouth and pray. Lord, by your great power, let your insufficient take over my insufficiency. May your inadequacy take over my inadequacy. In the name of Jesus, let your capability, capacity overshadow my weakness in the name of Jesus. Awesome. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Praise Lord. Praise God. And what's mm -hmm. that little song you always used to sing in your little service? Oh, Tell, you we, gotta... I sing all kinds of songs, um, you know, because I just believe those songs, they're so powerful. One of the songs that I was singing not too long ago, and I really literally saw this demon fall. I mean, big demon. And the song was, I have no power of my own. I have no power of my own. Holy Spirit, I look up to you. Help me. I have no, no power of my own. And I saw in a vision, God showed me, this demon just went down as I was singing that song. Praise so, you him. know, these little songs that just comfort me that I learned growing up, I sing that. I love to sing them on the prayer line. I'm not, I don't, I, I wouldn't call myself a singer, but I know God when we sing from our hearts. You don't have to have a pretty voice to worship. You don't have to have a pretty voice to lift up your, your voice and praise God and tell him how awesome he is, how wonderful, how mighty, how magnificent, how dependable, how holy, how good he is. You don't have to have a voice. God, I praise you. You're worthy. You're awesome. Hallelujah to your holy name. I can just see God just going, yeah, that's who I am. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> And, and and also you have here, Lord, do not delay. Mm. Oh, that's... The spirit of delay. Oh. You know, a lot of times God, we pray to God and he answers, but the enemy comes and he hinders, he holds back the angel that God sends to bring them and say, just like he did with Daniel. Daniel prayed. God already answered from the very first day, but there was a spirit of delay, the prince of Persia, that held back the angel that was bringing the answer to Daniel, it still happens. Mm. 
So when you, what you need to do is start binding. Lord, send extra angelic help to deliver my message, to deliver my prayer, to answer my request. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, enable the angel bringing the answer to my prayer. Don't let there be delay any longer. Father, you said speedily you will answer. Quickly, Lord, connect me with my mate. Quickly, Lord, open the door for me to get a job. Quickly, Lord, heal my body. Provide financial resources, almighty God. Whatever it takes, oh God, remove every delaying spirit that is delaying my blessing. Let my breakthrough break forth. All this type of prayer is what we have and topics in this book. Oh, praise the Lord. It's just Amen. like wildfire, sister. Like just Thank you, Jesus. rivers of living water just Amen. flowing out of you. Thank praise you, God. See, there's a difference uh, that, that you have authority, not just power, but authority to talk about that topic because I know you're a woman of prayer. There are people that has the power, but not the authority mm -hmm. because authority comes with relationship and fellowship with the Father. Absolutely. Because there are a lot of people who camouflage, uh, they might have little miracles here and there and there. That's just power. But when you have authority and power, because the authority comes with relationship, fellowship, and communicating with the Father in prayer, knowing your Father. And that's when those demons, they'll see where you're coming, and they say, oh, i got to get out of here. Amen. This is not a phone. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Because you're right. Authority comes from the one who has all authority. Right. God is the king of glory. Amen. And the more you have proximity, the closer the proximity you are to him, the more authority you have. Yes. He says, I am the vine, you are the branches. So when you are connected to the vine, that power of the vine is supplied into you and you can decree a thing and it will be established. You can bound and it will be bound in heaven. You can loose on earth and it will be loose in heaven. <laughs> Why? Because there's a close proximity and that anointing flows to you and those that are around you, a part of your ministry, it flows to them. Or the book you write, those that read it, it flows through that book. Amen. And so that's the way God works. The anointing, it carries on. You know, and you can lay hand on the sick and they will be healed because you spend in time with God, the one who owns all power, all healing power, all resources. He gives you and spill over you what he has. Amen. He's a God of overflow. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's just like I mean, when we began to bind the things here, uh, like depression, oppression, obsession over a person or we begin to bind the spirits off of these individual mm -hmm. here in the earth and, and our dominion and then the bible said when we pray because we're co-workers with the holy spirit mm -hmm. with the father and the son mm -hmm. and when we just like a little child grabs his daddy's hand and that something's going to try to get the little child little dog or something she runs behind her dad and that scares the dog away that's how god is when we bind the spirits here on earth God in the heavens will deal with the spirits in the second heavens. He will deal with them. He will fight our battles. And see, we don't have to worry. God is our real buckler and our shield of favor around us. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wonderful? It is. Praise it God. Is. <laughs> and is. also, I was listening to it, divine favor, mm. according to Psalms 512. <laughs> I mm -hmm. like the, the favor. favor. <laughs> the favor of God is giving you something you don't qualify for giving you something you have no skills, no ability. He just gives it to you because it's his favor. He surrounds you. When there's favor, God can move you from the back to the front. When there's favor, God can take your name from the least and make you the one on top. Just like favor was on Joseph. Favor was on Esther. God does that. He gives you what you need. Just like Basuel. God gave him the skills, the talents to build the temple, whereas he wasn't trained, but the anointing equipped him to be able to do that. The favor of God will cause you to get that job that wasn't, you didn't even study for, you didn't even apply for. The favor of God will connect you with somebody that will connect you to greatness. That's favor. God will take your name and cause it to stand out when thousands of people apply for a position, but they will pick you. That's favor. The favor of God is something you must ask for, pray for, believe for, and it would manifest in your life. 
Amen. Mm-hmm. I was also reading in your book here, it says here, it's Holy Spirit, do great and mighty things for me. Help me to accomplish the things I normally could not accomplish in my own. Help me to achieve them this season in Jesus' name. Amen. Father God, let everything that is hindering my glory to be a consumed. Let nothing hinder for my blessings. Let every uh, opinion of of my joy not fail in Jesus' name. Cancel every hindrance in my breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Wonderful. Oh, I recommend y'all get this as wonderful devotion to to speak. Sometimes when we go through crisis and tribulation, we don't think God loves us enough. And, and I see myself grab my father's hand. My father loves me. Mm-hmm. He cares for me. Mm-hmm. And I devil your liar. I'm not going to let you steal from me. Amen. Because my God cares for me. Yes, he does. My God rebukes you. Amen. God says I'm the apple of his eye. Yes, you are. My God says I'm the salt of the earth. Amen. My God says I'm more than a conqueror. Yes. Praise be to God. Share some more, sister. Well, one of the things that make me really like this book, when you are really going through difficult place, the hardest thing to do is to pray. You can't even focus. You're just so broken. And so to be able to pick up this book and you're going, okay, I'm dealing with health issue. I just heard this bad report. And you go straight to where it says about health. And you can read, by his stripes I am healed. I command every sickness, every disease, every infirmity, every iniquity to pack their load and get out of my body. My body is strengthened. My muscles are strong. My tissues are healthy. My organs are healthy. I shall not die but live and declare the works of death. Every area of sickness, I command you to go. I refuse to die untimely death. It is not my portion. Appointment with death, I cancel it by the blood of the Lamb. I would leave and I will carry out every God's plans for me. All this type of prayer that you normally would not even think about praying on your own is in the book. Mm-hmm. And you can just read it out and you will feel power coming into you. You will feel strength coming into you because prayer works. And God says, my word will not return void. This book is loaded with thousands of scriptures Amen. to help you with different topics and different areas of prayers that you wouldn't. We, what we do is take the scriptures and you personalize it and address it to refer to whatever it is that you're dealing with. So, yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. It will teach you how to pray. Yes, it's wonderful. And I recommend everybody who's listening, don't forget to order prayer that gets answered. Praise be to God. Don't forget to get it because God would bless you. And God, when you don't, you know, donate, it is helping the ministry to reach the unreach and telling other people about the goodness of God. You know, uh, it's not by might nor by power, but it's by the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Oh, praise be to God. I don't care what kind of valley you go through. The Lord is your shepherd. Mm-hmm. I shall not want. Mm-hmm. His rod and staff comforts me. Mm-hmm. Amen. Isn't that wonderful, sister? It's a, it's a great thing because God says in the valley, I'm the lilies of the valley. I'm the one. Lilies means flower. Even in your low points, your lowest point, God says, I come in and I make that valley beautiful. I make that low point that you are in bearable, even enjoyable where you feel peace and you're going through stuff. Peace that don't make sense. God is able to do that. Where you feel overwhelmed, Jesus said, I am your burden bearer. The Holy Spirit is the one that comes in and help us be that extra hand where you feel tired and he picks you up and he says, you can go one more lap. I'm with you. You are not alone. You are never alone. Jesus is with you. He is your strength. He is your peace. He is your best friend. You can turn to him. You can talk to him. And he will bring solution to every situation you're going through. He will bring provision for every need that you have because he's your source. Amen. He came to destroy the spirit of poverty. That is one of the main things that Jesus came to do. So if you're struggling financially, it is not of him. He says, the anointing of the Lord is upon me to preach the gospel to the poor. He said, I became poor that you might be rich. He said, I delight in the prosperity of my children. God wants you to prosper. So if you're struggling, it is of the devil. 
it is of the devil. Amen. God wants his children to have. Amen. And Amen. he promised to supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Amen. And I pray the spirit of provision fall upon you. The spirit of favor fall upon you. The spirit to receive blessing fall upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. And everyone who's listening say, I receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> praise God. Do you have another little song you want to share with us? I love your little song. Oh, praise the Lord. <laughs> uh, another one that I sing all the time. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. Alpha and Omega, there is no one like you. Covenant keeping God, nobody like you. Alpha and Omega, Jesus, there is no one like you. God enters covenant with you and he does not break it. Man may break their covenant, he will never break it. Why does he not break our covenant? It's because you are special. And another one that I like to sing real quick, mm. it says, I am fearfully made, I am wonderfully made. I belong to God, I resemble him. I am fearfully made, I am wonderfully made. I belong to God, I resemble him. That's why the devil tremble. Whenever he hears me singing, I am God's own. The apple of his eyes, that's why the devil tremble. Whenever he hears me singing, I am God's own. The apple of his eyes, that's who you are. The Amen. apple of God's eyes. I need you to write that little song down for me. It's, like, it's an encouraging song. Mm -hmm. When you feel down on yourself, it's a, oh, God don't love me. That little song encourages you. Mm -hmm. We are his creation. Yes, he we loved us. We, he needs to get in our hearts that, mm -hmm. that he loves us mm -hmm. to the point he sent his son for us. Mm -hmm. And he's, the Bible also says he sings about us. Yes, he does. He sings about his mm -hmm. children. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said he tattooed his name, in our his names in his hand. And every time he looks at his hand, he thinks of us. Yes. God, golly, can you imagine God, the creator, thinking about you? Mm -hmm. Oh, let me, what is so-and-so doing? Let me see down there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that look at her, look at him. I just love him. He's the apple of my delight, of my eyes. Praise the Lord. See, that's how God thinks about us. Yes. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Uh, sister, tell us more about the book. Uh, uh, you've been getting a good response. Oh, on this. yeah. We've been getting a lot of good testimonies where people are, are getting delivered, healed, set free as they're reading this book. The presence of God comes in and the power of God is released as they're reading this book. And God is able, many people have told me, I wake up in the morning and the Lord will tell me, go to this chapter. And the prayers there will be exactly what they need. One of our sisters, uh, she was, I was looking at her book. It was already one. And I said, what are you doing? What happened? It's a new book. She said, I carry it everywhere I go. She said, because the Lord, the Holy Spirit will prompt me, go to a certain place. And I read and the Lord will speak to me through the prayers or whatever it is that is written there. I have testimonies, my testimonies, different stories that would really ignite your faith. Because you see, one of the strongest thing a believer can have is your faith. That's why the enemy is always trying to attack your faith. He's not interested in your money. He's not interested in your health. He's going after your faith. Because without faith, there is no hope. Without faith, there is no answer prayer. Without faith, you can't please God. And we are supposed to walk by faith and not by sight. With faith, you can decree and it will come to pass. But when you don't have faith, then the enemy has got you. So he goes after your faith. What you're encountering is the enemy wants you to lose faith. You must refuse. You must walk around making declaration and say, God is faithful. God has promised and his word can never return void. And you make those declarations and this book will help you to do that. And your faith will come alive and your miracle will manifest and your testimony will not be cut off and your expectation will not be cut off. Amen. Praise the Lord. At closing right now, before we do, if I advise you, please get the book. And how much is the book? $15. $15. Like she said, you could buy it at Lakewood Church, bookstore, Amazon, uh, where else? 
Uh, you can get it from Kendo. You can go on our webpage. You can call our telephone number, 832-449-0002, yes. and you can get the book. Praise the Lord. And those who are listening right now, let's just bow our heads and say, Jesus, Jesus. Come, in my heart Come in my heart and be the Lord of my life. And be the Lord Forgive of my me life. of all my sins. Me I believe that sins. you're the Son of God I believe and that God has God. raised you from the dead. I confess Jesus dead. is I my Lord and, is Savior. My Lord and Savior. Savior. Father, right now, those who are sick, Thank you, receive you the healing Thank you, that God already provided for you, you at Father. the cross in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I bless you and I decree Thank blessing in Jesus' name. You. We got a few minutes, one minute. Thank you like to bless the people thank sister you, father. father i just thank you for each and every person right now lord god i thank you for that one that is struggling with that migraine headache i counsel it by the blood of the lamb i thank you for that one that the marriage is being challenged i thank you for stepping in and restoring and healing that marriage Lord, I thank you for that one that has pain on their knees, that they can't seem to be able to move around freely, that their knee is being healed right now in Jesus' name. I thank you that your children that have strayed, they're coming back to the Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. I thank you for financial freedom yes. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. God bless you and looking forward to see you next week. Tune in, same time, same place, same channel. Praise be to God. A God is awesome, Amen. and we speak the blessing and the peace for Jerusalem and Israel. We pray for them Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. That was wonderful, sister. <laughs> this is Evangelist Praise Praise the Lord. The Lord. If you have any sickness or problems, we welcome you to Shea Community Center every first Friday of each month at 7 o'clock. And we, we're going to lay hands on you. God will heal you. And if you have problems or infirmities, estamos visitando at Shea Community Center el primer viernes de cada mes a las 7. Vamos a estar predicando la palabra, orando por enfermos. Todos están invitados. Estamos esperando. And Dios le bendiga. Praise God, glory to Dios. This is Evangelist Michael Fernandez. If you want to be a part of our ministry and the adventures, the things we're doing, great things for God to bring the good news. If you want to be part of this ministry, go to my website and hablalos in the name of Jesus Christ. Dios le bendiga.